capital Delhi's R value, which indicates the spread of the COVID-19 that was recorded at 2.1% this week, implying that every infected person is infecting two others in the national capital, according to an analysis by IIT Madras. The R or the reproductive value indicates the number of people an infected person can spread the disease to, and a pandemic is considered to end if this value goes below 1. over 2,000 daily COVID cases for the past four days. A significant rise from the first week of April when the average cases were around 1,000 a day. The largest contributor in fresh cases has been the national capital in the past two weeks. Not surprisingly, Delhi's R value is now two, which means each positive case is infecting two others. On Friday, Delhi reported 1,042 cases, over 40% of the overall cases in the country. COVID situation in Delhi has sharply deteriorated in the past one week. Delhi's pandemic reproduction rate now 2.1, says IIT Madras study. Daily COVID cases reported on Friday 1,042 from 366 a week back, a rise of over 284% in a week. Active cases up to 2,241 from 706 in a week. Positivity rate up to 4.64% from 3.95% in last week. Delhi's R value was last under 1 on March 28. An R0 of 2 in the national capital means each and every COVID-19 patient will infect at least two others, which means that the number of COVID-19 cases in the upcoming days will rise sharply. And R0 below 1 means that the pandemic is under control and this was the case in the month of March. But looking at the crowd behind me, it doesn't look like the R0 is going to come down anytime soon. Experts warn against laxity in COVID-appropriate behaviour. The number of COVID cases is definitely on the rise and this is happening when we are trying to live our lives normally with lesser restrictions and without the masks. We have again been struck by a sub-variant of the Omicron this virus has an R of 2 while the virus in January had an R of 7 to 10. That means if in January one patient was infecting 7 to 10 people, so far the current one is allowing one patient to spread it to two more individuals. Hospitalization, however, still remain low in Delhi with only 68 patients admitted to hospitals out of 2,241 active cases. Look, in our OPD we have observed that patients are coming with dryness of eyes, dryness of mouth, with joint pains, with muscle pain and these symptoms are fine, found in certain conditions like Sjogren's syndrome, rheumatoid arthritis. Hopefully, with masks becoming mandatory in Delhi again, the situation should improve. In Delhi, with camera person Devir Thomas, Akshay Dongre for NDTV.